Okay, I was just looking back over the first practice that we did, the algebra practice solve for dot dot dot, solve for the variables. Our first practice we did with literal equations. We created this foldable. So you're going to want to have this foldable as a resource for yourself because when we created this, you had lots of good examples of undoing when we had uh, literal equations to solve that had one or two steps. The majority of the, the, all the problems actually, no, I'm lying. Uh, the majority of the problems on this assignment were two steps, so please be sure to use this resource to practice. I'm going to show you a few, but not all. Um, we had done some in class. We did number one, number three, number five. I had gotten you started on number nine. I'm going to leave number nine for you to finish, and I'm going to give some advice and some help. Um, in number two, really, this is a single step equation to solve when we have to solve for b because b has 8 times a multiplied by it and it's 8 times a times b equals c. In order to get rid of the a a, I'm going to divide both sides by 8a when the 8 and the a cancel out of the left hand side, they divide out of the left hand side, we are left with b equals c over 8a takes a single step of division. You can undo both the 8 and the A at the same time. In order to do number 4, you're not going to watch me do it. I'm going to tell you how to do it. You have to solve for T. D is equal to R times T plus 5. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is subtract 5 from both sides. Take 5 away here to make 0 and leave R times T on the right hand side. And it's going to be equal to on the left hand side d minus 5. d take away 5. So then you have d minus 5 is equal to r times t and you need to divide every piece of that equation by r in order to get t alone. Every piece of that equation needs to be divided by r to get t alone and your r should cancel out on the right hand side and leave you with what t is equal to. So t winds up on the right, everything else on the left. In number 6, in order to solve for h, I want you to look back at how we solved number two. It is volume, it's actually V equals pi times R squared times H, volume of a, this is a volume of a, pi R squared, volume of a cylinder. Um, what we're going to do, pi times R squared times H, we're going to divide both sides by the pi and the R squared to get it away from the H. In number eight, in order us, for us to solve for W, in a problem like this, um, I think we ran into one on the foldable. W is being subtracted. We've seen this before. W is being taken away. Um, so what I'm going to do is, because it's negative here, I'm going to move it. I'm going to add it to both sides because I just want to deal with W as a positive number and try to avoid any negatives if I can. We've been kind of practicing that skill. If I want to get W alone now, if I take S away from both sides, W is going to, S minus S is going to give me 0. W is going to be equal to R minus S. Um, number 10. Number 10 is uh, almost exactly like 2, 4. I'm sorry, 2 and 6. Look back at those. And a problem like number 7, I want you to think about. And we've had some more practice with some good algebra language and talking about things, but um, as we're solving systems um, using substitution, I think our algebra skills have just gotten better. What I want you to think about is how this quantity, we have to solve for P, and I want you to think about how that quantity in parentheses 1 plus the 0.01R is a whole group of things, and if you have to leave P alone, take that entire group divide by it on both sides. I didn't know if this, I grab this yellow marker, do that over here, finish that problem with P equals, and you should have a good sized fraction over there. Think about what that might look like. Pause and do it if you need to. Um, on the back hand, on the back hand side, on the back side of this, let's see, um, I had written on that one with all the answers, and I want to give you all the answers right out of the gate. Uh, you know what, I'm okay with number 13 and 14 leaving you to try. Those are like example five in your foldable. But we've also done some work with solving for y and solving for x as we've used substitution as a method to solve systems. So I think with the experience you have, you should be all right with those. Um, you can look back at our solving systems notes to find equations like that. 
Uh, in number 15, I had given you the piece of advice, multiply by two first. And the reason I had given you the piece of advice, multiply by two first, is if I was, these are all solved for y. I just didn't want this half here. I didn't like that one half sitting there. And so I thought, well, if we just multiply both equations by two, or both sides of the equation by two, that number looks like it's part of the problem number, looks like it's part of it. I'm going to wind up with two times y minus four equals the one half times two would equal one and we can just get rid of that oops forgot a parenthesis one half times two is one leaves us with x plus three and if i have to solve for y i'm going to have to now same kind of thing we've been doing as we've solved and used substitution you've gotten a lot better this last week or so in solving multi-step equations i'm going to add eight to both sides i simplified now I'm undoing 2y equals x plus 3 and 8, 11. And then I've got to divide every piece of this equation by 2 to get the 2 away from the y. So y equals, that sounded silly, so uh, 1 half x plus 11 halves. 5 and a half is what that would be. Um, 16. I want you to refer back to your example 6 in your foldable. And I also want you to think about, eh, I'm not giving you any more advice. Oh, you could use, no, nah, I'm not giving you any more advice. Try it. Stop the video and take care of it. In number 17, number 17, we have a formula for, um, we have a formula for simple interest. I'm going to copy it down here. And let's see, I need to solve for t in this problem, p plus p r t. The first thing that I'm going to have to do in order to solve for t in this problem, hmm, I just had kind of an idea. Let's see, changing my mind about the first thing. I'm going to undo a little bit of the distributive. I'm going to undo the distributive property. Watch what I've got going on here. p times 1 would give us p. Think about going backwards. And P times RT would give us the PRT. So now, look, I just pulled, I just went backwards with distributive. P times 1 would give me P. P times RT would give me the PRT. I'm going to suggest this, and it's something to think about. We'll be running into this in our work with our algebra, is if I can divide P out of both sides, now I'm on to, I'm running into this problem, now I'm on to this, A over P equals 1 plus RT. I can subtract 1 from both sides. Oh, this just got complicated. I don't like that method. Nuts. Um, I don't really want to stop my video. I don't like that method. Sorry. Sorry. Very sad. Not starting over. Eight minutes in. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to make up another one about this 17 and 18. Sorry about that. You get your eraser and look for my next video.